So, Roger, the, the, the issue I've got is someone's got this funny shape, this sort of curving extruded shape, mm-hmm. and he wants to taper it. And the problem with the taper edge is that you have to select the face. The, this is the reference face. So if you select that face, then you can taper this edge here. Right. Now, the problem that my friend has got is that he actually wants to taper the top. Now, if you want to taper the top, then you've got to, be able to, you've got to select that side face and then taper that one down, mm-hmm. which is all very well, except that's not the face he wants to taper. He wants to taper the top edge here and have it come down to zero at this end. So all he has to do is to select the back face. On a Windows machine, you hold down the Alt key. On a Macintosh, it's the Option key. And then you can select the back face, click on the top face, and then taper it down to nothing. Right. And right. it works works fine. Sure. i tell you what I'd quite like doing. I quite like working in OpenGL. I don't know if you've tried it, Roger, but putting on a, a good quality OpenGL... Turning all your textures and rendering up really high. Mm-hmm. And even, I've thought about even doing it with um, perspective rendering. <sighs> so you turn on perspective rendering all the time and then work that way. A bit like SketchUp. Yes. But you still have to remember that if you want to taper that face, you've still got to use the option key, select the back face, then you can select that top face and then bring it all the way down. And there it's done. Yeah. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.